The providence of God that can provide us hope. That is a really, really powerful topic. That even the time of hardship and disappointment and discouragement, that to be able to see that God even ordained bad things, so-called the disappointing hardship in our lives, it's incredibly empowering because that comes from the fact that the Lord our God is the one that ordains everything. And, so, and what does he ordain? Everything. Not exactly everything to detail, but a lot of things. Um, for, his, for instance, God even ordained and governed Satan's rebellion in heaven and Adam and Eve's rebellion on earth. You know, this is a major event. God uses means to do his will. God, that these are means, this is ordained to achieve. Sometimes it may look a little bit suspicious and not that great, but in the end, it was so powerful. Look at Joseph, right? God in his wisdom worked behind the scenes, in, including some of the extraordinary evil, evil events. Um, <clears throat> First Chronicles, Satan provoked uh, King David to number the troops of Israel. And here we saw that uh, an evil angel prompting uh, David to sin. And, and then there is um, 2 Samuel 24 reveals that this was God's will. And then we can quickly see that God used Satan's deceitful ideas that, and David's sins in order to punish the people of Israel for the wickedness, you know, for example, one side is, is the devil tempting David. On the other side, First Chronicles, um, uh, and then in Second Samuel, is David, God clearly provoked, uh, stirred the heart of uh, David to do that. So you see, there are multi layers. Of, uh, of events that caused David to do all this. And it's all the perfect plan of God. Another example of God's only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, who suffered under Pontius Pilate and Gentiles. But, but, but these enemies of the Lord can only do what they did uh, based on what God's counsel on him determined before to be done in Acts 4.27, period. Now, another one in God's providence is God's permission. God permits sin, and yet He rules over sin and sinners. So God decides the extent to which sin will reign and the extent to which you will be restrained. Okay, this is ultra complex. The administration of your friends, uh, for instance, Joseph said to his treacherous a later repentant brothers, that you intend to harm me, but God intended for good to accomplish what now is being done. Genesis 50, 20. So God used evil men to save the people of Israel in history. In a similar way, God could use evil nations to punish his people later in their history. It is, it is simply amazing.